my name is uh, Gimme Ellingskart. I work with uh, Otfjell Ship Management in uh, Bergen in Norway. I work as a manager of machinery group in the technology section of uh, ship management Bergen. The vessel which you see here, which is called Flora, she was state-of-the-art when she was built, and as of now she's still state-of-the-art. What we are doing now, as we are having this uh, 17 and a half year docking, we are at the same time doing an upgrade, a retrofitting of the propulsion system to uh, save some fuel and uh, make the world a little bit greener. The Otfjell project is a project we've been working on for a long time. And uh, what we have done in this particular project is that we looked at the existing propeller, which is a CP propeller. We looked at uh, the rudder and we looked at the whole propulsion system. The first thing we did was that we said that, okay, we're gonna exchange the existing propeller blade design, with, which is a conventional, with our couple uh, propeller design. So that was uh, the first. Then secondly, we said that there's further uh, possibility for improvement. So what we did was we said, okay, uh, we could add what we call a rudder bolt. Uh, first here, an extension to the hub, which is called a fairing cone. And secondly, this rudder bolt, which is added to the rudder. So that means now you have a streamlined a flow from the propeller on towards the, the rudder. And that gave a further improvement in the efficiency. Here we are at uh, Norwegian Marine Technology Research Institute, Marintech. Our institution was established in 1939. Uh, we have been uh, working and have research with uh, different types of uh, vessels. Marintech's role in uh, this project is uh, verifying different uh, concepts by doing a model test, but also giving advice to the ship owner. Uh, which concept would be the best regarding the fuel efficiency and uh, uh, lower energy consumption. To calculate uh, fuel uh, efficiency from uh, different concepts, what we do is first we test the original concept, you could say, by uh, testing the model like uh, this one, which is about uh, a scale of 27. Then we have the original rudder, we test it in our uh, towing tank. Then uh, we can uh, accurately calculate what would be the fuel consumption in full scale. Then what we do is we use uh, the alternative rudder and do the same type of testing. And by comparing the results of the original with the new configuration, then we can quantify what is the real gain from the new solution. But in the uh, best case, comparing to the original uh, configuration, we had uh, more than 20% saving. So that's quite a lot. The usual uh, projects we are doing is uh, maybe around 10% uh, uh, saving we are expecting. After we have done the upgrade of the first vessel in August uh, 2015, we did a sea trial where we compared the result before and after the upgrade. And uh, clearly we were very satisfied when the, the sea trial concluded with an actual result of 20% improvement. 5% better than our expectation. So, and we have continued to monitor the ships because that ship has now been in operation for a number of months. And, and the result is still confirmed to be in the upper 20%, more than 20%. The benefits for us as a company is basically the following. One, it gives us a higher environmental rating, which is normally issued by right ship. So if you have a high environmental rating, you are accepted by all customers and you also a preferred choice for investors. If you have a low 
and while I'm operating, you may actually be out of business for some customers and be less attractive for investors. This project also gives us, of course, uh, an energy saving, which will, uh, results in lower spending of fuel, which uh, reduce our cost and make us more cost competitive. We uh, choose MAN as our partner for this because they offer the best total solution. A solution that uh, includes all the various components involving in this upgrade. Because it involves more than the propeller systems, it involves upgrade of some part of the engine equipment and the rudder and some other part of the ship's equipment. So the MAN company could offer the best total solution for the upgrade. I think it's been a perfect cooperation we had there. Before we went into the project, we said that we also want to be sure that the figures we are claiming, they are the right ones. So we need a good basis for doing the design. That means we need to have all the information about the ship and all kind of tests that has been done in the past, as well as also the operating data for, for the ship as it's in daily business. One of the key learnings in this project is that uh, when you have a very uh, close and uh, open cooperation between supplier and customer, you can really uh, get very, very far and reach results that you didn't think possible. We believe that the holistic approach is uh, the way forward. It's a way of having existing vessels upgraded to such an extent that they can actually compete with uh, the newest vessels in the market and the newest designs. So Bauflora is now in the pool with the 5% most eco-friendly vessels in the world.